Hey guys, Jack here, and welcome to Those Nights of Randoms. Now, this guy looks like a guy from the Five Nights of Sonic's Maniac Mania. What the heck? Anyway, so we're going to be playing this game. We finally found a fan game, and this is going to be the one that we are playing. Now, I have no idea what this is about. All I know is it's a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. And, yeah, let's just get into a main game. Oh, I guess i got to press new game then. Okay. Oh, by the way, it's rebooted. So that's, I guess, something. Got like a VHS tape kind of effect. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, okay. We got animatronics stuff. Keep your eyes peeled. Something might slip past your view when you are not looking. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Next second I could be assassinated. 11 p.m. Hello. Welcome to your first shift at Random's Pizza Time Theater. I'll be telling you the basics to help you out on your shift. As the advertisement said, your job will be to look over the restaurant to make sure no one gets in. Of course, we're still in the process of opening, so some things are a little faulty, such as our power. You can charge it from the safety of your office. We had new electronic doors installed in your office for the sake of protecting yourself against anyone who may try and get to you. All right, that's all I have for you tonight. Stay safe. Have a good night. Okay, so we've got like a stress meter on here, which seems to go up when we look in the cameras. Okay, we've got a character in here, and another character here to do place cat collars with dog collars. Okay, got a, like an egg or something. An egg. -o. Got the, the characters here. They said something about charging the cameras. Which I'm very confused about. So there's a vent here, that's not good. So I don't know how to deal with the characters because, like usual, I did the strike special. I didn't listen to the phone call. Okay, I was a bit scared that the, the light wouldn't show. Alright. Oh, two of them are moved. I'll charge power. Oh, what the? You can charge the power. From here. I guess that's a thing. I guess. That seems a bit broken, though. The fact that I can just look at a camera and charge the power. That, that seems a bit much. I'm assuming the game's gonna get difficult later on in the night, and... Charging the power is going to get very, very difficult. But I don't know. Seems very lenient to me. Boom, I'm at 99. It, it, like, what? And now I'm at 100. Interesting. Very interesting. Dude, I swear. It's so nice to get over just... Oh yeah, that's right, I haven't told you guys, but... An update on my cold, I am... F I fully recovered. Like I, like I told you guys, there was nothing to worry about. There was nothing to worry about. It was just something small that would go by quickly. There was nothing to stress about. Nothing. Though I doubt any of you actually really cared, but I'm just saying it anyway. <laughs> because whatever. Anyway, I don't really know what to talk about right now. I kind of just feel like being silent, but I've got to be entertaining, so I can't do that. But. I would like to talk about the characters, but I don't know their names. But I find it really interesting that we have a charge power mechanic. Why? Why? It's like, 
it's like you added adding the chance power is just like being like hey you know that it's we put you in a hard difficulty of a game but you have infinite health so yeah here you go is that, well, what's the point anymore there's no point to the hard mode because you have this thing in the hard mode which means it's just really easy. There's no point to the hard mode then. It's just like what this is. I've got a challenge power thing. I can just use the lights. Probably use this for the vents. And then go back to there and charge. What's the point? Or maybe I'm just thinking of this game too simply. Maybe it's going to get more difficult than just check in the vent. Because maybe there's like someone with a foxy mechanic that I don't know about. I don't know. Or well, someone's moved. I don't even need to charge the power anymore. I don't know why I am. I don't even know. I just am. I don't know why I'm thinking about it right now, but I'm thinking about the Final Night series. Again, I don't even know why. I'm just thinking about the Final Night series and how the second game's Night 5 was impossible. Oh, oh. But yeah, the, this second Final Night's Night 5 with the shadows and all that is insanity. Well, it's not insanity, the game, but you know what I mean. Anyway. Oh, hi. Oh, that's right. You look like Bu... Bro, you look like Bu from Final Fantasy Sonic's Maniac Mania. What are you doing? I was trying to remember what he looked like. It was Bu. You look, you look like Mary from Mary's Arcade to some degree. Anyway, there we go. It's 6 a.m. That's a long 6 a.m. ring. Oh well. Let's resume the game into night two. Oh wait, so there's a sixth night. No. Why that change? Why that change when I go over it? Was that normal? I don't know. Yes, it's, oh, what the? Bro, what are you doing? I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's resume the game. Let's resume the game. Night two. Yeah, I remember the Final Night series, uh huh. Oh, don't activate the vent snare too early. Something might slap, slip past right as it cools down. Sounds like I have to look at the vent this time. But talking about Final Nights 3, that game was impossible for me. In fact, I haven't even watched a playthrough of that one yet. I need to, because that game was impossible for me. Hello, welcome back to your second shift. <laughs> Second shift, nice. Apologies. Nice shift at Freddy's. Wouldn't be surprised considering. Nice shift at Sparky's. Okay. So if we look back at the camera feed from your previous shift, and we could definitely see that the amateur tracks are moving. Oh There's really? Sort of I couldn't tell. To ensure you're safe, we've installed a vent snare. <coughs> we have a feeling that some of the other amateurs might fall suit, so we added a vent snare. Normally you'd ask why, but this is because of Phoebe. These are smallest animatronic, and can reach up to higher places, such as the vent. <laughs> These sorts of snares are still in their infancy, so it might not be the best idea to use it before you see an animatronic in the vent. Otherwise, they might get you. <sighs> well, that's all I can think of for tonight. Hopefully you'll be able to make it through. Anyway, have a good night. Bro, sound, bro, bro sounded sick on the phone. <laughs> It's like, it's like with that recording, he just wanted to get it out of the way, but he was also feeling sick, so we just did it anyway, which I find it very interesting, but, yeah, I thought. Is that a sound? No, it wasn't. But, anyway, 
Let's continue again with what I was talking about. The Final Nights 3, I swear, is beyond impossible. At least, I was very confused about the game because it's a game where you're in the hospital and you're trying to sleep and you, when you're sleeping, you're trying to get the sleep meter to 6 a.m., which it's a very weird concept that the time doesn't move unless you're sleeping. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very weird concept, but I guess you're in the world until you sleep. I don't know. And then you move the time up and all that. What's that sound? But yeah, in that game, you gotta. You're in a hospital, you have to check that this closet for the balloon boy of the game. And then you also have to check outside to get rid of the, the puppet of the game. And then in the hallway outside, outside of the area you're at, you have to get rid of Fredbear. But with all this and how slowly the camera moves around to do every interaction, I couldn't even beat the first night of that game. So, if I look around and I see someone to beat night five in that one, then just, just good on them. Good on them. Because the game's confusing as fuck for me. That was a weird sound. Interesting. Gives me power. Gives me power. But yeah, I'm telling you, this that the charge power is just it's just like a cheat code. Just imagine one of your, your old games like a GDA game and then just putting in cheat codes. That is what this charge feels like. This charge power just feels like a cheat code. But anyway, this game's very really those nights are random esque. Also, what was that sound? Maybe you're still at the door. So shut up. Number 15. Guess uh, any of you any of you are uh, excited for Jolly Four? I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. You guys ready for Jolly Four? Because uh, I am. I'm excited for Finance Candies Four, uh, Pop Goes Evergreen, Jolly Four, all those very hyped up fanverse games. Because they're going to be very good. There's no way they're not. Because I mean, it'd be nice to see Finance Candies four. Because it's been, <laughs> it's been six years. It's been six years. I really hope that it's good. Anyway, but yeah, we have like Fnac fur, which actually reminds me now. Actually. I've done some speedrunning of Finite Can- Oh, whoops. I've done speedrunning of Finite Kenny's 4. I mean, not 4, 3. I've done speedruns of Finite Kenny's 3. Because there is speedruns for it for some reason. I also have my speedrun.com account linked in the description down below. What the fuck? Oh god, there he is. Okay, we survived. But yeah, I have my speedrun.com account linked down below in the description, along with my game jolts, Twitch, and Twitter. If you guys want to check those out. 
but yeah. I'm really running out of topics to talk about on this channel now. I, I just really don't know. I mean, not much is really going on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for night three and for one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.